Who is that? Well, I wasn't expecting anyone today. Oh. Hey, what, what are you doing here? Oh my god, are you bleeding? You are, you're bleeding. Why? What's wrong with you? You're acting a little weird. Besides, why? Why are you here? You didn't tell me that you were coming. Okay. You know what? You tell me later. Just come in. You look like a mess. I can't just leave you out here. Come on. You don't just show up at my house for no reason. I know there's something going on. But it's okay. Let me... Let me help you out, okay? I'll, I'll be right back. So just what the hell did you get yourself involved in? Because you look like you've been fighting megalodons or something. I don't know. You're bleeding. What happened to you? Are you drunk? You are. You are so drunk. That explains why you show up at my door. You know, I was so confused. I'm like, we're not even friends. Why would you show up at my door like that? And why me, of all people? I used to have my address saved. <sighs> well, why are you out drinking by yourself? That's dangerous. Don't tell me you drove. So that's why you're bleeding. Oh my god. How are you still the same reckless person that you were years ago? You just don't change. It's okay. You didn't bother me. I was literally just watching TV. Pretty bored by myself, so you kind of give me something to do. Although, I'd prefer doing something else over cleaning your blood, since you know how I feel about blood, but it's okay. I'm just glad that it's not anything worse than that. You got me so worried for a second. Just stay still. This is some cold water. No, there's just a few scratches. It's nothing too bad, but still. You could have been seriously injured out there. <sighs> so do you want to tell me why you're drinking? You did. You were drinking. Look at yourself. I know you. I know how you get when you drink. You're trying to hide it, but mm, you're sucking at that, too. <laughs> Just tell me. I mean, you obviously showed up here for a reason, so you might as well. Oh, you've been going through something? Well, what is it? What's got you so messy like this? It's not a girl, is it? <laughs> oh, it is? Oh. Um. What happened? There's this girl you used to like. Okay, does she not like you back? You don't know. Well, I know you've always been very straightforward and you always go for what you want right so you should fight for her if you like her then you should tell her how you feel don't conceal it by drinking and doing all these things and then getting yourself hurt like this it's not healthy so what's so special about this girl anyways why are you so upset over her Oh, <laughs> she sounds really similar to me. <sighs> oh, you're going to get a few scabs here and there, but <laughs> you're tough. You can handle it. What? Who? <sighs> the girl is me. Well, 
as much as I want to believe that. You are drunk, and you don't know what you're saying. No, stop. You had a lot of drinks. You're just saying whatever's on your mind right now. Maybe you're just saying this to me because you're hurt. That what we had, we ended it years ago. You know that? Yeah, and you know exactly why we did that. We're all in really good parts of our life. Right? You're not. You miss me? Well, I miss you too. I mean, you were my best friend. I spent every day with you. And then we just ended that and I was so upset and lonely for the longest time. But I thought that you were better off without me and that you're happy that way. And that it's better off for the both of us if we are separated. And I thought you were on board with that, but now you're here in my house telling me that you miss me. That you're out there drinking because you miss me. <laughs> Do you realize how dramatic that sounds? But it's so typical of you. Because you still do the same things you did back then. You know, I thought that you might have moved on and found someone else. and I'm just a part of your past. Which is why when you just mentioned a girl right now, I got pretty upset. I don't really want to think about it. You know, I've gotten really freaking good at concealing my feelings, so. Anyways, stay still, I'm almost done. You don't need any band-aids, you're good. <laughs> you're tough. Besides, just a few scratches are not gonna hurt you. <sighs> just promise me that you won't go out by yourself and drink again and get yourself hurt like this. How am I going to stop myself from worrying about you? Anyways. Do you want to tell me the real reason that you're here? <laughs> Get up. What are you doing? You have a headache? <laughs> you are such a liar. No, you were just avoiding the question. You are a big fat liar. Stop. <laughs> uh, seriously, tell me. I'm going to have to get the words out of you somehow if you don't. Oh, you know. I have my ways. They're not very pretty. <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you, but you're going in circles and you look crazy. It's okay. I'm going to let it go because you are drunk. And there's a chance that you are not going to remember any of this tomorrow. <laughs> so, maybe this is the perfect opportunity for me to tell you how I'm really feeling. Ever since we broke up, it's been really tough. You know, I've tried to put myself out there, and I tried getting to know other people. And they were not you. I would compare every single thing they do to you, because you, in my eyes, you were perfect. And you made me the happiest girl I've ever been. I know that we broke up because we... We're going our separate ways, but it sucks that we didn't, you know, keep in contact, that we didn't talk, and we sort of became strangers to each other. And I wanted to stay away from you, because I wanted you to be happy. And I wanted to be happy. I wanted to put myself out there and get to know someone else so that I can get over you, which is not the right way to go about it. It's not, trust me, I regret it. But 
none of those people were you. I'm sorry. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> Why did you have to come here and get me all emotional? Oh, I hate you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I've accepted it. I just wasn't ready to see you again. So now that you're sitting right in front of me, I... It's hard. I hope you understand. I care about you a lot. And... I, what? <laughs> yeah, I think we've established that you feel the same way. <laughs> Why did I never tell you? Because I thought... We're supposed to move on. I'm supposed to stop caring and find someone new, since obviously I thought that the two of us were not meant to f for one another. I thought you'd moved on. But now, seeing you at my doorstep, looking the way that you do, I realize just how much I really missed you. And it sucks that I will probably never g gather the courage to tell you this when you are not drunk. When you're sober, I... I don't want to think about it. <sighs> you love me? Well, I love you too. You are still the same idiot that I loved years ago. <laughs> Nothing has changed. Except your hair looks a lot better now. Remember how much I used to tell you to cut it and you wouldn't? And now here you are. What's changed? Are you sure there is no mystery girl out there? There must be. Oh, you wanted to look good for me. <laughs> well, you know, I think you look good. No matter what. You could have, like, zero hair or... All the hair in the world, and I would still love you. But, you are drunk right now. And I'm going to make you some tea to hopefully <laughs> try and calm down the headache that you're going to get tomorrow morning. And I don't know if you're going to remember any of this, but in case you do... I hope that you remember this. <laughs> okay, I will be right back. I'm going to get you a blanket, and then I'll get you a tea, and you can just sleep on the couch, okay? <laughs> yeah, we'll deal with it tomorrow, silly. I can't be talking to you when you look like this right now. You're acting like an idiot. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> How am I supposed to take you seriously? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. There's a blanket. Alright. And here is the blanket. <laughs> I fell asleep. so cute. What am I going to do with you? You're never going to change. And I don't think that I'll ever be able to let you go. <laughs> I missed you. Mm. Hey, what, you're awake? Oh my god. You piss me. You know what? Here you go. Here's your stupid blanket. Use it. Don't talk to me all night. You're a jerk. I hate you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll tuck you in, I guess. Uh, you're acting like a little baby. Just stay still. 
stop like go (laughs) oh my god are you done okay there you go good job (laughs) now stay still so i can wrap you in a blanket burrito yeah you're gonna need it (laughs) stay still oh my god what Yeah, I think you already said that you love me. You want to say it again? (laughs) Oh, you are truly the worst thing that's ever happened to me. You know that? I mean it in the best way possible. (laughs) All right, there you go. Now you are a very tasty, wonderful burrito. And you can go to sleep and have the best dreams ever. Yeah, yeah, I'll deal with you tomorrow. (laughs) You know where I am if you need me, okay? Sleep well.